Hey guys, in this video, I want to break down the 456k per month Facebook ad strategy. I want to break down how everything works for us right now on Facebook, how to scale on Facebook these days. Should be very exciting, guys. Let's do it. Guys, you can see here on the screen, uh, $456,000 in sales in the last 30 days. You can see this is all real. And uh, what I want to show you guys is actually this, right? The amount of ad spend we've had to do on Facebook in order to do this volume. Every ad account is different, right? So what I want to show you here is the strategies that we have adapted specifically for this ad account to get it to perform. For instance, like in this ad account, what we've tried, like one of these things, you can see cost per lead. We would literally generate leads and then would send them through like email sequence. This is just the front end ROAS. It ended up to being like, kind of like break even, but we have generated a lot of leads. 0.33 cents per lead, we've generated 13,000 leads with this approach. The structure overall is kind of like broken down here. We don't consolidate very aggressively in this ad account. There's like many active campaigns that are actually not spending that much. So the, the campaign that spent the most spent like $16,000 this month. So guys, I want to show you like inside of this campaign and what is working here. CBO campaign, $21,000 in ad spent and has quite few ad sets here. In this campaign here, for instance, we have different lookalikes, but also we have people who've engaged with us on Instagram. So we have both warm and cold interests inside of the same campaign. So a lot of people trying to differentiate it and put it like in different campaigns, top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, bottom of the funnel, whereas we just put them all together. I don't know if that's like the most efficient way to do it, but this is what's working for us and what it helps us to do, even if that particular ad set is not performing, from my experience, helps Facebook to find those buckets of customers inside of those campaigns. So this way, it's just kind of like picking up easy wins from those campaigns that are warm retargeting inside of the call campaigns. Let me know in the comments if that makes sense, guys. And while you're watching this, if, if you enjoy this, just hit a like button. So the algorithm pushes it in front of more people. Now, I want to show you inside of one of the actual like ad sets. So you can see here, what we're doing here is literally having like different variations of the banners, right? So a lot of people just kind of like switch to videos and not utilizing image ads anymore. You see the ones that spent the most. So here, for instance, this is image, 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 this image, this is video, this is a video, right? So it doesn't always have to be videos. A lot of people just focus on videos, like focusing on UGC, which is awesome. But sometimes something as simple as image with a direct offer is something that will get the best response. So don't forget the basics of direct response marketing, where you have the offer, which is the most important thing. You need to have like, okay, so this is like 40% off, offer that expires like in 24 hours or you know whatever the timeline is sometimes we as marketers we are getting distracted for things that are very shiny but we are forgetting the basics that got us there in the first place like having an offer one of the reasons here like why we have so many campaigns is because we are utilizing different offers. You need to create different reasons for people to buy your products because if you don't, like people simply will not buy. Free shipping deal here, flash sale, or we have specific occasions like Labor Day, international this particular niche day, right? So International Coffee Day. There are a lot of holidays that are not very wide known, but you can still use them as a reason to sell products. What I actually want to show you is e-commerce calendar that you can take and you can adjust for yourself. And if you comment calendar below, I'll send it your way. And that's one of the reasons why we have a lot of campaigns, but it's also one of the reasons how we were able to achieve more than five X blend that us uh, on this account. What you got here is pretty much the calendar with all of these uh, holidays, like National Clean Your Room Day. I mean, if you're in the cleaning business or you're selling cleaning products, you definitely want to utilize one of these. You have National Camping Months, right? Let's say you're in uh, in that particular niche. Arts and Entertainment, Cause or Awareness. Some of the data here, absolutely crazy numbers. Like Super Bowl, people spent $30 billion, right? Back to school, people spent $37 billion. So, so all of these can be used as occasions to sell products and you can pretty much just create your own holiday calendar for yourself, for your business. I highly recommend this guys like a lot of business is missing out on this and there's like 3,000 different holiday occasions guys if you want access to this calendar then comment calendar in the comments so I can send it your way that's what we do uh, a few of the main lessons here as, you, as you've noticed definitely use image ads I used to be like very conservative on number of campaigns you want to create because you want to leverage the previous learning and we still do that but at the same time you want to have these like campaign specific events holiday specific 
to just maximize your sales because different people will respond to different offers. That's why I always, always, always talk about having multiple angles for the same product. What I like to do is having like at least three, four different angles for the same product or three, four different benefits for the same product that you can utilize to just grab more of that comprehensive audience and just maximize your sales. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know, drop any comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.